you've probably heard carnivores raving about ribeye. I mean, some folks talk about steak the way poets talk about love. But why is ruminant meat so popular in the carnivore world? What's so special about beef, bison, and lamb? And do you have to eat them to be successful on this way of eating? So let's clear up the beef about beef. And if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Dr. Hampton, a board certified family and obesity medicine doctor. And in today's video, we're diving deep into why ruminant meat is the superstar of the carnivore diet. I'll explain exactly what ruminant animals are, how their digestive systems give you a nutritional edge, and why why these meats are naturally higher in fat, which believe it or not, is a good thing. We'll also talk about how to troubleshoot if you don't tolerate beef well and how to ease into it without giving up on this powerful dietary approach. And do me a favor and stick around because at the end of this video, I'm going to share a surprising tip that can help anyone digest ruminant meat better, even if it hasn't worked for you in the past. So first things first, what the heck is ruminant meat? Ruminant animals are mammals with a very unique digestive system. Unlike us humans with our single chambered stomachs, these animals have a four compartment stomach. The star of the show is the rumen, which acts like a fermentation vat, which is a vessel used to contain and facilitate the fermentation process. These animals eat fibrous plant matter, grasses, shrubs, hay, and the microbes in their rumen break it all down through fermentation. So who are we talking about here? Think cows where we get beef, bison, buffalo, sheep, which gives us lamb, goats, deer, and elk. All of these fall under the ruminant umbrella. And here's a cool little fact. The rumen of a cow can hold up to 50 gallons of partially digested plant matter, 50. That's like having a built-in compost factory, except instead of mulch, it turns kale into ketones. Their bodies convert fibrous, low nutrient plants into rich, fatty, nutrient dense meats. And that is what we get to eat. You could say we've outsourced digestion to the experts. Their system does what ours cannot. Humans don't have the ability to extract nutrients from cellulose rich plants like grass. We don't have the enzymes or the machinery, but ruminants, they're pros. They use bacteria and fermentation to turn plants into muscle and fat. So when we eat ruminant meat, we're eating the results of that conversion. Nature's own food processor is also one of the big reasons carnivores don't need plants because we're getting the end product of plant digestion. Without the plant's anti-nutrients, fiber overload, or blood sugar spikes, we're skipping the spinach and going straight to the steak. Now let's talk about fat. One reason people thrive on ruminant meat is because it's naturally higher in fat, especially cuts like ribeye, 80-20 ground beef, briskets, or short ribs. These are not lean meats, and that's actually perfect for a carnivore way of eating. Fat provides calories, satiety, and hormonal stability. It helps you enter ketosis, fuels your brain, and keeps your blood sugar from roller coastering all day long. From a mechanistic perspective, fat slows gastric emptying, just like those GLP-1 drugs, which means your meals keep you full longer without the many side effects of those drugs. Ruminant meats also enhance the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K2, all of which are richly present in animal foods, especially in organs and fat. I've had patients who were exhausted eating lean meats like chicken breasts all day, but once they added fattier cuts of beef, the brain fog lifted, energy came back, and their cravings disappeared. But here's the big question. Do you have to eat ruminant meat to be a successful carnivore? The short answer is no. You can absolutely do a carnivore diet using other animal foods, pork, poultry, seafood, eggs. All of these are part of the carnivore toolbox. Ruminant meat is just often easier for people to thrive on because of its nutrient profile and ideal fat content. Now, what if you've tried ruminant meat and you don't feel good? Maybe you get bloated, nauseated, or it just doesn't sit right. I definitely see this in clinics sometimes. Let's talk about why that might be happening. One big issue is stomach acid, especially those coming from a plant-based diet or dealing with chronic stress or age-related changes just don't produce enough hydrochloric acid. And you need acid to properly break down protein-rich foods like beef. Another issue is poor bile flow. Without enough bile, 
fat digestion becomes difficult. And since ruminant meat is higher in fat, your body might struggle to process it. A third issue is histamine sensitivity. Foods like aged meats, ground meats, and leftovers, these can be higher in histamines, which can trigger reactions like flushing, headaches, or digestive issues in sensitive individuals. And finally, there's the iron factor. Some people are dealing with iron overload or the opposite, iron deficiency anemia. Both can affect how you feel after eating red meat. Now here's the good news. There are solutions. If low stomach acid is the issue, you can try Bethane HCL supplements with milk. Start low and work your way up. If fat digestion is the problem, ox bile or a full spectrum digestive enzyme can help ease the load on your gallbladder. If histamines are a concern, try eating fresher cuts of meat. Skip the aged steaks or store it leftovers. And consider cooking your meat from frozen instead of thawing in the fridge for hours. And if you just feel off in general, start slow. I recommend beginning with something like ground beef. Gently cooked, maybe in a slow cooker or instant pot, add some bone broth to support your gut lining and balance out the amino acid profile with glycine. You can also try smaller portions, cooked in simple fats like tallow or ghee, and work your way up. I often remind patients that your digestive system is like a muscle. It needs training. If you've gone years without eating red meat, your body may need time to build up enzymes and the microbes to digest it well. Now let's talk about some of the bonus benefits of ruminant meat and some of the things most people don't realize. Ruminant meat is rich in carnosine, a powerful antioxidant that helps reduce inflammation, supports brain health, and protects your muscles from aging. It contains conjugated linoleic acid or CLA, which has been shown in some studies to support fat loss and metabolic health. It's loaded with heme iron, the most absorbable form of iron for humans, important for energy, immune function, and mental clarity. You're also getting a potent dose of B12, zinc, selenium, and other nutrients your body thrives on, all in a form that doesn't need to be converted or activated. And don't forget, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to eat beef every day. You just need to find a version of carnivore that works for you. That might mean starting with lamb or goat or mixing in other animal foods while you build up your digestive capacity for beef. So to wrap this up, ruminant meat is nutrient rich, fat fueled, and easy to thrive on for many people on the carnivore diet. But if it doesn't work for you right now, there are ways to troubleshoot, adapt, and still get the benefits of this powerful way of eating. And if this video helped clear up the mystery of ruminant meat, hit that like button and drop a comment below, especially if you've had trouble with beef and found a solution that worked for you. Let's help each other on this journey. And by doing this, you'll be helping others who are on a similar journey. And if you want to learn how to build the perfect carnivore plate, here's a video I did with A. Day Fox, also known as the Black Carnivore, where we walk through the basics of how to start a carnivore diet. I'll link that video right here. Remember, you're not failing if beef doesn't work. You're not failing if beef doesn't work for you right away. You're just at the beginning of your healing journey. And I'm here to walk with you, one ribeye or lamb chop at a time. I'll see you in my next video.